hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is mabel and i will be doing a reaction video today okay you guys first i'm going to shout out to my friend informer for suggesting this video to me um i'm going to be reacting to this youtube series it's a social experiment called blue therapy okay yes it's relationship um related okay anything that's making no. you feel uncomfortable no. okay is there anything you'd like no, to talk? No. If I could just get to the end of my sentence. I knew, I knew what you were going to say. Yeah. What was I going to say? Him. Just a question. He's going to listen to you. Is there anything that you'd like to discuss with uh, Shoma regarding your relationship? No. Okay, well, I have something I'd like to bring up. Yeah? Go on. And obviously, I don't mean to trigger you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. but we're here to kind of discuss our issues. And I want to put it out there. It's a sensitive topic. It's his, it's his, his family, it's his sister. Mm -hmm. Sorry? His sister. Um, for me, I don't, want, I don't want to be rude about it. I just want to get it out because at the end of the day, he, he doesn't see my point when it comes to this. But poor sister doesn't like me. Um, and I say this because she always has something to say about me every time, you know, she sees me. Do you both come from an equal number of family members or is it very different? I mean, Paul, what's, what's, what's your background of family? Relevant, it's irrelevant. Well, it might give us all no, no, no. a bit more what, what's, understanding. What's going, give, what's going to give us an understanding is she has a problem with my sister and I'm just finding that out now. So, first, let me give you guys background, okay? There's this new series, if you have not watched it already, there's a series on YouTube called Blue Therapy, okay? If you have watched it, shout out to you. Thank you for not telling me about it. But yeah, there's this YouTube series on YouTube called Blue Therapy. You guys, it is very interesting, okay? So, let me give you a background about the video, okay? This series is about two couples, okay? It's relationship-based anyway. It's a social experiment. And they already have three episodes of this series here on YouTube. Blue Therapy is the name, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to, what I'll do today is basically to just react to this video, episode one, two, and three. And then subsequently, when we have more episodes, I'll probably react per episode, okay? So for just this video, I'm going to be reacting to episode one, two, and three of the Blue Therapy, okay? Background, it's about two couples, okay? So here is Paul and Chelma, couple number one. They have dated for a little over three years. They moved in together six months ago. And Choma is basically the one who is in need or who really wants to fix this relationship. She's the one who really wants to make it work. Okay. Now, couple number two is Jamil and Deborah. Okay. So with them, Jamil is the one who, who suggested therapy. Okay. Because apparently he wants to make the relationship work. Okay, so that being said, let's go back to Choma and Paul, couple number one. My boyfriend have been going through a lot lately. Um, this is the last leg for us. We're really, really hanging in in our relationship. I've seen an opportunity for a social experiment, and I think that it's best we both come here and get some help. You made me want to I've been with my partner for three years now. Just like everyone else, we've had our ups and downs. You know, things happen. But coming to therapy with a camera for some social experiment, that's just, it's a red flag, to be fair. And now, like, she knows my perspective on this. I prefer we go to a church and we sit down with a pastor in a corner. But, you know, us getting to this extent where we're actually here for a social experiment, it's just, it doesn't make sense. I think it's going to go south. Like, I'm 90% sure, but at the end of the day, I'll just say, look, I told you so. First thing I'll say about this couple is this. Very interesting, okay? Choma is the one who really wants to make this relationship work. Just from the things she said and just from the entire video that I've seen so far, you can tell that Choma is the one who is so in love with Paul. And Paul is the one who thinks he's too much. He's everything. I mean, he is a narcissist. I mean, if you know who a narcissist is, or if you want to explain or describe or define the word narcissist, just erase it and put Paul in there because this boy is the actual definition of who a narcissist is. He is self-centered, he is insensitive, 
he's all about himself everything has to be my way you know he is disrespectful he is rude i mean like you know people who, who use emotional intelligence on their partners that is paul i just summarized who paul is in this video okay yes if you have seen this video you're going to agree with me that everything i have said about paul is correct okay? i love you you do know that right and i feel as though we are we've got different um views of life so to me paul is very image he puts too much emphasis on how people perceive us as a couple so here is paul the fake it until you make it entrepreneur and here is choma a she is a brand ambassador she's an influencer a youtuber she's a star basically okay she's an influencer and she's here in a relationship with someone who wants to fake it until he makes it as he explained as he told us in the video that his occupation is a provider you know because apparently in episode one i think when the therapist was trying to get to know them and he asked paul what do you do for a living and he goes i'm a provider I earn money for a living and I'm like wow so there is a job or an occupation like that that I didn't know about I mean I like that kind of profession I want to be a provider I want to be an earner because how can somebody ask you tell me about yourself what do you do for a living and he goes I'm a provider I mean I earn for a living wow that is the most I mean he's so arrogant I feel like he's so rude that even to a stranger the therapist He's so rude, disrespectful to her. He goes and he calls, he told Choma, you know, you're telling everything about us to this bloody stranger. That is how he described the therapist. Right, so we literally just got here, like we haven't been here for five minutes. Choma's talking about mm -hmm. finance to the bloody Denise, someone that we don't even know. I mean, Paul is that guy that Choma is trying her best. She's trying her best to make the relationship work. She's doing everything she can. But he feels like, you know, some guys, even I know there are ladies like that too, but some guys who think that, you know, it's either me or no one. Like, if you leave me, you cannot find somebody better. I feel like that's his attitude. He feels like it's everything and uh, uh, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, he's that kind of guy. And I think, you know, even in the video where Chuma was trying to explain to him and also explain to the therapist the kind of person he is, he's this kind of person that he just almost all the many things that this girl talks about he will just pick one and use it against her it's more like a reverse psychology um thing you know whenever she talks about something and i believe that in his heart he knows he is guilty of what she's saying i believe you know she, he knows that what she's saying is correct but what he does is this he uses defense mechanism that's what he does you by using reverse psychology to you know use her words against her basically and in the past we've had situations where he's invested and there's been no returns so i don't feel like i need to suffer at the expense of his investing and putting himself in positions to get deals when not all the time it works out and i we are we're together do you know what i mean we're in a relationship we're not business partners mm. so I, i'm suffering for nothing mm. Do you feel that it's an equal situation? She's, she just said she's suffering for nothing. Okay. So am I nothing? That's not what I said. It's like you, your comprehension. This is why we're here because anytime I bring it up at home, he dismisses it. Yeah. Okay. You're you're not comprehending what I'm oh, saying. Okay, okay. I've lost. You literally just explained yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Look, I'm not dismissing it right now. Right. We're having a conversation. You know, I don't know you from anywhere, but you're here. Conversation. let me give an instance okay there was this scenario where she was explained to him about his sister how she's disrespectful to her how you know she he, she basically Chema was complaining about paul's sister and i guess he's just being frustrated and trying to probably be heard trying to express herself as much as she can she used the word b-i-t-c-h okay yes she called paul's sister a b-i-t-c-h and amongst all the things that she said, that was the only thing that Paul heard in that video. And he decided to take that one and just hammer on it. Oh, you called my sister this. Oh, wow. Oh, this. And it, just listen to her and hear her out. And understand that you have a girlfriend who is so loving or who is so in love with you. And is trying to make herself 
get her get you to hear her to listen to her i feel like that's what it is but he just goes and just all the things she says, he just picks that one out and say and he even tells her that she has a problem or she is the problem that his sister is not the problem that she's the problem she should go fix herself first how can you say that to somebody you love you can clearly understand with Choma that she's trying to explain. And even me not being in that relationship, I can tell that the sister needs to be talked to or to be put in her place. But he decides to take sides with his sister and decides to frustrate and humiliate and accuse and just do all these bad things to his girlfriend. Just because he is a loving brother. Okay, that didn't make sense to me. And you have to be, you have to be aware of guys like this that uses reverse psychology, that uses um, defense mechanism, that don't listen to you. They just listen to the, they just let you talk and talk. And then when you now say that one wrong thing, they hold to that, they grab that one and they run with it. Okay, that's the kind of person Paul is to me. And I feel like Choma already knows that that relationship is not good for her. She knows, but I know she's trying to make sure, like she said, she's trying to make sure she does everything she can to make it work before she probably just says, okay, you know what, I'm done. But there is no way she'll be able to make it work if he's not willing to meet her in the middle, okay? Yeah, so um, I feel like she's just in the relationship with herself, okay? This guy is so arrogant. I'm telling you guys, there's so many scenarios in episode one, two, and three. Even when Choma, you know, even when he talks about there was a situation probably in the video where apparently she went to have fun with her friends and she was dancing twerking in quotes and her friend was filming and probably she she appears in the video probably for a second or something and he just talks about it how you know a good girl a good woman a good girlfriend should not be twerking in public should not be doing this because it's going to bring a bad name to their brand you need to be a little it's going to it's not good for their relationship it's not good for their personality it's not good for their image and all that by the way do you know that he goes to the casino in the name of business meetings pays for tables pays for girls and i mean these girls come drink from his glass flirts with him and she can't even complain about it because if she does, she's going to say it was business with him. He, he thinks he justifies his own action. But the thing Chama does is not even half or close to what he does. And he thinks it's a problem. He's that kind of guy that just wants to, just wants to compress her until she loses her voice. Like, I mean, he's very controlling because he already said it. He wants her to be a housewife. You met me, you met me, you knew me as an influencer. That was how you met me and then I go in a relationship, get in a relationship with you and you want me to stop doing the things I like to do. You don't want me to post videos. He's so jealous. I feel like he's so insecure. You know, this kind of guys that if their woman eventually becomes very successful, they cannot take it because of their insecurities. He doesn't want her to post pictures on Instagram. That is her job. That is who she is. Before she met you, these are the things she did. And then she met you amongst all the many people she chose to date you. I think because she posts a video and an Instagram fan comments and says she's beautiful. You want her to not post videos or pictures anymore. You don't want her. She even said that the reason why she didn't put that video of her dancing on her instagram because she knew his reaction so she can't even be herself in the relationship you know that those kind of men are not good for anyone that's how i feel like she's already seen the signs there's so much like the the red flags are there his attitude he's rude he's insensitive he's disrespectful he's self-centered he's controlling he's all this and more and you are see these are red flags this is just a relationship this is the reason and this is the point where you walk away you know, it's not a do or die affair. I feel like, not even I feel like, we all know that a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. So, you're just in a relationship. He was, imagine, you guys have dated for three years and you've only lived together for six months and he's already been like this with you. He doesn't want you to have a say. He doesn't want you to work. He doesn't want you to post videos. He doesn't want to hang out with friends. He wants you to be in the house and not even in the house. Okay, if the house was even safe and a happy place for you is a different thing his sister will also come into your house and want to detect to you what to do and he's going to support his sister at the expense of your happiness and everything i feel like this guy is a no-no okay paul is not the kind of guy for choma she's already seen the signs right now i do not know why she's still in that relationship but i feel like she needs to up 
and leave. Yeah, he's not good for her. You know, there's even a place in the video where he said he's not a total... You see, I can't even say some WhatsApp because I don't want, you know, YouTube to come and block my video or something, ban my channel. But he even told him, said it himself, that he's a complete BS. Like he's a... What? I can't even... Like, if you know me, you know I can't use this kind of words. You know, he calls himself names and he said he knows he's a little bit of this, but he's not a complete this and... You guys, I rest my case, okay? So, I just feel like at this point, um, except he's actually willing to meet your ma somewhere, like he's willing to make you work, he's willing to change, you know, even if for me personally, this kind of person, I don't even believe he's going to change. Because a narcissist is a narcissist. So, I don't actually believe he will change. Like, he might maybe say he's changed, he might pretend for a little bit, but in the long run, his real personality will show. That's what I believe, okay? So that's for Choma and Paul. So now, let's move on to Jamal and Deborah. I think it's Jamal, that's his name. So I'm on my way for this social experiment. I'm quite excited. Um, I'm happy that Jamal is using this initiative and wants us to be part of this. There's a few things that I do want to get off my chest that will be nice to speak to Jamal, speak to the therapist, and I'm excited. So my partner's running late, I apologize. I don't actually understand how Jamal is late. He's the one that has brought me to this whole thing, and you're late. I'm sitting here, I don't know the lady, I look very stupid, and Jamal is late. Period. Sorry, Was the traffic bad? Um, sort of, yeah. Well, you're here now, so that's all that matters. Can I just start by asking you what brought you here and, and how long have you been together? Do you want to take that? No, I'll leave first. We've actually been together for a year. Couple, you guys. For me, with this couple, I think I have something to say with both of them that's bad and good at the same time okay so let me start with deborah first i like her i applaud her very well because she's the girl who knows what she wants and who doesn't pretend about it and she says it from the beginning that this is what i want i'm um, high maintenance i have high expectations okay this is how my father raised me we are four girls in our family my dad treated me like a princess he provided for my mom he provided for us he gifted my mom and all this so she already knows what she wants and she's not coming to you pretending about it. She's already stating it from the beginning that I'm high maintenance and I have high expectations. And this is what I expect from a man because this is what my father did for my mom and for us. And so I like that and it's good. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with people having high expectations and being high maintenance and all. It's just that if you have to date those people, especially when they tell you exactly who they are, not being fake or pretending you decide that yeah i'm going to date you then you should be ready not somewhere in, in, along the line you say oh she's too needy and she's high maintenance and she has an expectation those expectations are high and they're realistic but they might not be realistic for you jamal but you know those are expectations and she did not come to you acting like she told you from the beginning and this is something that you got into and you'd be like yeah i can do it so for me i applaud deborah for being herself okay for not pretending and for coming straight up this is why i am if you're gonna date me you date me because she has because she's this is i think she's all her dad doing growing up and that's what she expects for her that a man should do and that is absolutely okay okay but the problem i have with her is this she wants Jamal to provide for her. She wants him to buy her all the designer labels. You know, she wants this bag, this birthday. She wants you to gift her often. She has, you know, she wants all these things. Yes, it's okay. But then you have to now allow him to work and make the money to be able to meet your needs. So I think that's where I have an issue with Deborah because if you want all these things, I believe it's not like you dated, you're dating somebody who's from a royal family. Or who's a billionaire or whose family you know what i mean he's 27 or 28 years according to what he said and he's struggling and so you need to give him space and time to make the money that you used to meet your needs and do all the beautiful things you want for yourself so that's one thing i want with her and then another thing with her is that 
um jamal is a i think he's he does most of his work is online on social media and all and that is where he works and makes the money to take care of you and meet your needs and you're here telling him that he cannot be on social media anymore or he does too much on social media and all that i feel like that's where the problem is that's his car that's what he's been that's what he did before you met him that's why he makes the money take care of you so why then will you tend to leave social media or not comment on somebody's post or that people cannot comment on his post i feel like that one is not correct okay deborah that is not correct okay so that's for her so now moving on to jamal okay my own is this you know deborah had expectations you know she's high maintenance you know all things she wants and you decided to date her so you have to understand that if you have to date her then you should be able to provide for her if not you should cut your coat according to your size okay don't date somebody that she she's not like you know like i said it's okay to have her expectations and behind maintenance and whatever you know just make sure that when you want to be in a relationship with this person you should be able or you should know that you should be able to meet the expectations okay so that's one and then another one with jamal is with time management time management and communication okay i feel like he needs to learn how to communicate better and this also applies to shoma and paul but anyway we already i've already addressed some of their issues but with um jamal you need to be able to communicate with deborah clearly and be able to manage your time well because you cannot have a date with her and then five minutes to the time of the appointment you text her that you're going to be late claiming that you double booked your sessions or whatever because you know you double booked and i'm sure you did not just find out five minutes ago so you should let her know in time because sometimes or most of the time is when you do things like that that get her frustrated but that makes her frustrated okay so maybe you should learn how to communicate better with her or manage your time with her because from they've just dated for one year they've just been dating for a little over a year and the relationship is already rocky like this like i mean she said when they first started dating they used to see twice a week they live in the same city that is not distance relationship to me so when he said dating first they would see once every week or twice every week now a year into the relationship they get to see once or twice a month or in two months i mean you can tell clearly that it's beginning to fall apart things are beginning to fall apart so um if you love somebody okay you have to be intentional with them you have to make time for them there is no way you're going to be busy so busy that in two months you're going to see your girlfriend just once and you guys live in the same city and even that once you're running late it's frustrating okay so jamal needs to learn how to manage his time well and how to better communicate things with deborah okay so that's another aspect of it and then there was one other thing that i just have to say about these people okay so in the video um deborah told the therapist that they he's been she's been with jamal for a year now or a little over a year and she's not met his family any of his family members while um two or three months into the relationship jamal met his family okay the s skills that jamal gave was that deborah is loud has deborah met your family um jamal um not yet um why is that jamal we've had we've, did this, we've had this discussion before so um i thought with deborah because she's just very loud i should say and uh, loud i should say um there's times where loud yeah loud i feel like there's moments of times where you kind of have to balance the two you need to know your place in terms of being loud and then being quiet and i feel like at this current moment of time i don't think she will not like a clash per se with my parents or my family um but i feel like there's things that she kind of has to show but what are you worried about i just want to make sure that she gets it right i feel like my family mean a lot to me um, and, so and mine don't, because you've met my family. Jamal is, has oh, met so my, my family. family. Um, he met my family, I'll say, like, the first three months in. Oh, like, but really, what I don't really understand. He seems to be really particular about his family. Like, we all have family. Yeah, I guess. You've met my family. And if you're trying to take me seriously, then I'm not really understanding okay, why. Like, I understand this. This is my fourth relationship. I don't want to go even further. So I want to make sure that... When you come and see my family, it's it's prim and proper. 
I'm not here to be doing dibble, dabble, dibble, dabble, bringing new girls here. We've been together for a year. Yeah. Surely, I should have met your family by now. Ghanaians and Nigerians, like, obviously Nigerians are a bit loud. Well, Deborah is a loud person, so how my parents might take to her is a bit... I don't know. I don't know how she'll actually act in front of my parents, but would my parents take to the fact that she's so loud? I think not. Um, I mean, we're both African. I'm Nigerian. Um, yeah, I'm Brian. But I don't think... I don't think that should be a problem. Like, it doesn't make yeah, a difference. Yeah, you may not feel like that. Because... But let, me, let me be honest with you, yeah? With my parents, like... They're the type of parents that they would expect me to be with another Ghanaian girl. However, their choices are not my choices. Yeah, and that's more reason why I should meet them earlier so that they're prepared to meet a Nigerian babe. And I get that, but still, that's still down to me, right? So why can't I just leave that into my hands? So when am I going to meet them? Which family do you want to meet first? Okay, that's childish. It's not that deep. It's just... He said she is so loud. She is so loud that she, he's not sure his family because the kind of family he's from traditional Ghanaian family and she's too loud that's episode three actually yeah so and i'm here thinking so was she this loud from the start or did she just become loud or did he just realize that she's loud or because i understand what he said he doesn't want to take any girl to his family because he's been in four relationships already and me too if i'm that person i won't want to take anybody to my parents until I know that he's the one or she's the one or at least I know where at least moving to that we're, we're moving towards that direction I understand that clearly but if he's saying that and just saying that alone is okay but coming to say that she's so loud for your Ghanaian family you know I think <laughs> Deborah you guys I feel like she's 24 I think she's 24 or so and Jamal is 27 or 28 I feel like they are at the point in their life where they are still trying to understand themselves. Deborah, to me, I feel like she's a, she's still young. She's not that young, but I feel like she still needs to go back and rearrange some things in her life. You have to decide you want time and money and fame and this and that. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You cannot have everything. Okay, so you have to decide, grow up. If you want to be with a businessman or a self-employed person or an entrepreneur, who needs to spend time to build his business to build his brand to make the money and you want to also be with the person that will give you all the things you want and more gifts time and money you have to let him like i mean deborah needs to grow up to understand a little more about relationship while jamal also needs to sit back and fix his life if you've been in four relationships right now and it hasn't worked you need to go back and say and ask yourself are you dating the right woman for you are you in a relationship with the kind of who you need to be in a relationship with are you dating your type or are you dating someone that is a little above you or so like you need to cut your coat according to your size jamal i mean you need to do that okay so i just feel like you know i know even looking at it still another thing with deborah is this okay yes i have to say this one okay that's why i said she needs to grow because you have a best friend you're comparing your best friend's boyfriend with your boyfriend that's number one thing that will ruin your relationship comparison okay you're telling your boyfriend jamal that he's not like your girl, your best friend's boyfriend that the, your best friend's boyfriend is spontaneous that he's this he gives all the time he's available he's this and he's that that's what your friend is telling you that's what they let you see that's what they want you to know you are not in that relationship deborah so you would not even know if that is what is happening or not you know listen to your boyfriend the comparison is not good it's going to make you never appreciate the little things he does okay that one is just it's just it's just simple simple things that i think these are things that you can understand without even being told you don't compare your boyfriend to somebody else or your girlfriend that kills it destroys and it will make you never appreciate the little effort he's making the little thing he's doing in your relationship and going to tell your best friend everything that happens in your relationship from his problems with his family to your sex life and all that you have to grow up and learn that you do not kiss and tell you don't tell everything to your best friend or whatever you guys are like i don't believe in that you have to tell some surely when your partner is complaining and telling you that he doesn't like that and you're saying he's your best friend is she really telling you everything that's happening in her life 
You need to understand that relationships don't work like that. Because you're telling her your problems, she'll be, as much as you're telling her your problems, she's going to be talking more about the good things that her boyfriend does to her. I don't know if it's just to make you continue to feel like your relationship is not good or your man is not good enough. Or even if she doesn't have bad intentions, really, you know, you should not tell your problems to somebody, all of it. And you should not compare your partner. I mean, these are simple things that we should know as adults going into a relationship, trying to move relationship from relationship to marriage. You need to know these little things, okay? So, so far, I feel like this is what I've gathered from episode 1, 2, and 3 of this show, Blue Therapy, okay? If you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link in my description box below. Watch it, okay? Watch so that by the time we're reviewing the next episode, we're on the same page, okay? Yes, yeah, so I just thought I'd come here and do this reaction. By the way, again, shout out to my friend Ifoma for suggesting this video to me. Um, I think I really enjoyed watching it. And I feel like it's a good video that will teach you. And it just teaches you and makes you understand relationship individuals personalities and all of that so yeah i really enjoyed watching this video and if you're new here on my channel welcome to my channel welcome welcome to my channel here on my channel we learn we share and we have fun so if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to my channel okay like my video share leave a comment i mean leave a comment like my video share subscribe and i will see you all in my next video Bye.